Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program in chapter four is calories burned. All right, so running on a particular tre uh, treadmill, you, you burn 4.2 calories per minute. So write a program that uses a loop to display the number of calories burned after 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 minutes. Okay, so we are, so we've, we've been told that for every minute, if you run on this particular treadmill, you are burning 4.2 calories. Okay, so for every minute you are burning 4.2 calories. So write a program that uses a loop to display the number of calories burned in these minutes. For example, 10, in 10 minutes, how many calories do you burn? In 15 minutes, how many calories do you burn? We've been told that for every minute, you burn 4.2 calories. So this is like a, a ratio and proportion problem. So in, in, other, in other previous programs that had ratio and proportion problems, I, I tried to use comment to illustrate how we're going to do the division, how, basically how we're going to calculate or you know, do the math. So I'm going to do the same thing here and say this. So if we've, we've been told that if one minute, okay, over here they said if 4.2 calories, I mean 4.2 calories per minute, we are burning 4.2 calories per minute. So I'm going to flip it around and say if one minute, okay, so that, that, that means for every minute you are burning 4.2 calories. So if one minute is equal to 4.2 calories, so I'm just trying to explain how we're going to get the math here. I mean, it's straightforward, but I'm just trying to, you know, explain. It's straightforward because all we have to do is just multiply the number of calories by the number of minutes. Okay, so if one minute gives us 4.2 calories, then two minutes is going to be equal to two times 4.2 calories. But let's uh, let me let's let's go, go over it here so we know how it's working. So if one minute is equal to 4.2 calories, then based on based on the minutes given g minutes given to us over here, we should calculate how many calories are going to be burned in in, in those minutes. Okay, so. Let's, let's start with 10, for example. So if one minute is equal to 4.2 calories, then, then 10 minutes, right? Let's just do 10 minutes is going to be equal to what? That's basically what the question is asking us to calculate. So if one minute is equal to 4.2 calories, then 10 minutes is equal to what? So basically, this is ratio and proportion. And ratio and proportion works this way. One minute gives us 4.2 calories. So if one minute gives us 4.2 calories, then 10 minutes is going to give us obviously more calories because 10 minutes is greater than one minute. So if this is how this is how ratio and proportion works. If 10 minutes is going to give us more calories, okay, if more, if more, then less divides. And what I mean by less divides is the lesser number of these two, in this case one, the lesser number of 10 and one, in this case one divides. And what I mean by divides is one is going to go under 10, then you end up multiplying by what's on the right, which is 4.2. So if 10, if one minute gives us 4.2 calories, then 10 minutes is going to give us more. If more, then less divides. The way ratio and proportion works is this. If more, then less divides. If less, then more divides. In this case, because 10 minutes is going to give us more calories, then less divides. The lesser number of these two divides, and that means that the lesser number goes under 10, then you end up multiplying by what's on the right. So it's going to be 10 divided by 1 times 4.2. Now if this was, let's say, 0 0.5 minutes, right? If 1 minute is equal to 4.2 calories, then 0 0.5 minutes, it's going to give us less calories because 0 0.5 is less than 1. So if, remember, if more or less divides, if less, more divides. So because 0 0.5 minutes is going to give us less calories, so if less than more divides, the bigger number of these two, which is one divides, and what I mean by one divides is one goes under 0 0.5, and we end up multiplying by 4.2, what's on the right? Now, if you realize that any time, whether this number of minutes is more or less, we are always dividing by one and multiplying by 4.2. So in the first case, when minutes was, was 10, if 10 means that if 10 is going to give us more calories. So if one minute is equal to 4.2, then 10 is going to give us more calories. So if more, then less divides. 10 divided by 1 times 4.2. We are always dividing by 1 and multiplying by 4.2. In the case where minutes was 0 0.5, if one minute is, is equal to 4.2 calories, then 0 0.5 minutes is going to give us less calories. So if less, then more divides. 0 0.5 divided by 1. 
times 4.2 so in this case we are also dividing by one so in at any case uh, at any time depending it doesn't matter what number this number of minutes is whether it's 10 or 15 or 20 or 25 or 30 uh, or 25 or 30 at, at any time <laughs> or 25 or 30 all right so that means that any time you're always dividing by one and then multiplying by two. I mean, if you read this question, you can tell that, oh, you're all, you're, all we have to do is multiply the minutes times the number of calories. But this is just to explain. At any time, we are dividing the number of minutes by one and multiplying by 4.2 to give us the number of calories burned in this many minutes. Okay, so this, so this was just to explain. I'm going to leave it on, the, on top here just so we can... Um, you can know. Um, I mean, I, I'll, I'll delete it. I, th I think we, we can re um, rewind it and see it. So I'll, I'll delete it. But let's. Uh, what we should keep in mind is we are always dividing by 1 and multiplying by 4.2. So, okay, so let's go ahead and create a loop because we, we're, going, we're going to need a loop for this one. Okay, so it says, even the question says, write a, a program that uses a loop to display the number of calories burned after 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20, 25, and 30 minutes. So... We are going to create a loop and the target variable is going to be the number of minutes all right so for number of minutes number of minutes is going to be the 10 15 20 25 target variable so for number of uh, minutes in range so i'm going to go ahead and specify the range here i'm going to specify the range we are starting from the 10th minute so number of minutes initially is going to be 10 and we're going all the way to 31 right because when i type in actually 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 the range is from starts from 10 to 30 that's the range right the range starts from 10 to 30 but the thing is i'm typing 31 because the upper limit i type here is not included so it's what what is included is one less than what i type here so now i'm going from 10 to to 30 okay 31 is like my upper, upper limit not included it's like my the maximum limit not it's it's not included, so it's from ten to thirty, and then third one is like my upper limit's not included. Uh, okay, because of that, I'm going to sp uh, let's see. Um, no, that's fine. So th so th this was the range we were given. So I'm going from ten. I'm starting from this is the starting limit. This is the ending limit. I mean not the, yeah. Th so I'm, this is the starting point, ending point, right? But 31 is not included. 31 is the ending limit, not included. So 10, we're moving from 10, starting from 10, all the way to 30. And we are skipping over every five. We are basically using every five here, like this. So this is a step value. Step over five times and then use, and then, and then assign that number to number of minutes. So number of minutes is going to be 10 initially. We are going from 10 to 30, right? But then assign every five to number of minutes so start from 10 don't don't assign 11 don't assign 12 don't assign 13 don't assign 14 assign 15 okay so skip every so start from 10 and skip five and assign 15 and when you're done 15 uh, skip five add five to it and then assign 20 and then and then skip and then add five to 20 and, and assign 25 skip over five times and assign 30 okay so we are skipping over so it's starting from 10, number of minutes is going to be 10 initially. We are skipping all, all over. We are starting from 10 to, th to 30 initially, 10 to 30. Initially it's 10, okay, number of minutes is going to be 10. We are skipping over five times, this is the step value. So number of minutes is going to be assigned 15. Skipping over five times, skipping over five times, we're going to, number of minutes is going to be assigned 20. We are skipping over five times, number of minutes is going to be assigned 25. Skip over five times, number of minutes is going to be assigned 30. Okay, so this is the starting value, ending value, but not included. This ending value is not included. What is included is one less than the ending value. So 10 to 30, we are skipping over every five and assigning it to number of minutes e each time. Okay, so this loop is going, to, is going to run one, two, three, four, five times. Number of minutes is going to be 10 initially, 15, 20, 25, and then 30. So now we know we, we can access 10, 15, 20, 20, 25, and 30. We know number of minutes is going to hold those values. So let's see. Um, yeah, so it wants us to 
display the number of calories burned after these minutes right so we're going to just go basically print first let's go ahead and calculate the number of number of calories in the in the, in the, in the variable let's calculate the number of calories and then storage in a variable so let's say um number of calories burned um, burnt okay now i'm going to type the whole thing if you want you can make it make it short because but i like doing this sometimes the number of calories burned is going to be equal to now remember we're always dividing by one we're always dividing the number of minutes by one okay now we have the number of minutes in the target variable so number of minutes initially is going to be 10 and then 15 and then 20 and then 25 and then 30 so initially we're starting from it's going to be 10 and then it's going to keep looping okay from 15 10 15 20 25 and 30. So number of calories is going to be equal to number of calories. Remember, we're always dividing by one. It doesn't matter if we don't type the division divided by one because it's going to be the same number. But let's just type in the full formula just so it's clear. So we are always to, to find the number of calories burned, we are dividing the number of minutes by one and multiplying by 4.2 always. Because we know for every for every minute we are burning. 4.2 calories so we can even up here declare a variable and say calories burned oh, oh sorry so calories burned per minute yeah calories burned per minute is going to be equal to 4.2 we know that this is the this is the color this is the number of calories burned per minute right so over here instead of using 4.2 we can say calories burned per minute So number of calories burned is equal to number of minutes divided by one times calories burned per minute. So we want to go ahead and print out um, basically th this is the number of calories burned per I mean for 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 ten minutes okay per, for for ten minutes not per minute for ten minutes. So in, that's initially and then it's going to run again. Number of minutes is going to be 15, and then this is going to be number of calories burned for 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and print. Each time it calculates the number of calories burned for that particular um, min minute, okay, for that, that particular um, minutes, okay. Okay, so whether it's 10 or 15 or 20 or 25 or 30, print out the number of calories burned for, you know, for, you know, for, the, for, for, that, for that particular number of minutes. If you want, you can name this to, let's say, current minutes or current set of minutes or you can, something like that. But number of minutes represents 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 each, you know, each time this loop runs, respectively. So let's go ahead and print a statement and say, um, let's see. Let's say, let's say you will burn, so let's say over here. So I'm, I'm going to pass in the, 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 the uh, basically what I want to print as argument to the print function. So I'm going to say you will burn. So that's the first thing I want to pass in there. That's the first argument. You will burn number of calories burned. That's the second. That's the second argument I want to pass to the print function. You will burn number of calories burned in. Number of minutes. This number of minutes is going to hold the the current you know the current number of minutes, which is 10, 15, 20, 25, or 30. Now I'm passing these arguments into the print function, uh, you know, you know, separately. So what by default the argument well, when this is printed by default, these arguments are going to be separated by a space. You can you can change it if you want, but by default, when this is printed, when this these uh, these arguments are printed. They are going to be separated by a space. So it's going to read: you will burn space number of calories burned, which is going to be number which is going to be the number of calories burned space in space number of minutes, which is which is the current set of or the current number of minutes, whether 10, 15, 20, 25, or 30. So, and and each, and each time we print one statement, it's going to end it with a new line. And then this loop is going to come back up. up uh, this loop is going to iterate again. It's going to print another statement and it with a new, new line. By default, the print statement, once it's done printing what you've told it to print, it's going to take the case to the next line. 
and whatever comes after it it's going to be displayed on, an, on that next line so by default when it prints this it's going to take the killer to the next line and then when the loop runs again and it prints another statement that that particular print statement is going to display on that next line so i hope it's clear all right so let's run this and i'm going to save it first Um, and the desktop is where I save all the Python programs. All right, so in chapter four, I'm going to create an, um, an, a folder and I'm going to call it calories burned. And then I'm going to save this as calories burned dot pi. Save this. So let's see if we have any errors. All right, so it looks like it's working. <coughs> Um, let me add one more argument to this just to say minutes. Minutes. Okay, so. And one more over here. I'm going to say calories in. Now, because I've exceeded this line, I don't want to exceed this line over here. This line is like a guideline for me to keep 80 characters on a line. Okay, it's like a Python standard to keep 80 char characters on a line. So, this is a guideline for me to do that. So, I'm going to break it here, right here. And before you break anything, actually, I'm going to break it here. Here, before you break anything in Python, you have to type in a backslash and then you, you break it. Okay, so I'm going to run this again and then see what happens this time around. So you will burn 42.0 calories in 10 minutes, you will burn 63.0 calories in 15 minutes. So it tells you how many cal calories you burn for all these um, in, in all these minutes. If you want, you can actually go ahead and round this. We can go ahead and round this, but this this also works. This works. We can keep it this way if you want, but you can round this by, by using the format function if you want. All right, so this program works. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next program. All right, bye-bye.